Windows 8.1, the preview release, out to the public now. I've gone ahead and downloaded the ISO file, the image, the 64-bit version, of course. If you have the 32-bit operating system, that's fine. They have a 32-bit option. Went ahead, mounted that onto a CD, and burned it, installed it. No problems there. Had the option to keep my Windows settings, personal files, and apps. So went ahead and did that. There's lots of things that are new, really but there's some really interesting ones here, starting with, of course, the start button is back. So on the bottom left corner, we have um, what they're calling a start button. If you click on it, it takes you to the start screen. If you right click on it, it gives you this pop-up menu with shortcuts to all the essential options so that you can access quickly, such as shutting down, sleeping, restarting the computer. Of course, if you want to access the desktop, click on desktop, takes you to the desktop. So there you go. The start button is back in one form or another. The other thing is there's this little arrow that allows you to basically swipe up and down. You, if you have a touch screen, you can swipe up and down, access your apps. The apps now have been organized nicely by category, by the date that it was installed, the most used, things like that. So you can really access the stuff much quicker than before, a little bit more intuitive, which is great. The other thing about the tiles now, you can make them even smaller, so you can change the size of them, a little bit more flexible, so you can fit more on that start screen. So here is an example. I'll select News, then click on Resize, and then you can see they're large, wide, medium, and small. And if you choose a smaller size, of course, it makes a small, tiny little uh, News tile okay and then of course you can do that with several tiles and then uh, group them together so you can um, basically select two at the same time or a whole bunch and drag and drop them uh, to different areas on your start screen and create groups basically right so you can organize and access these uh, apps quicker now there are new apps uh, that have been included with uh, the preview 8.1 and I'll talk about that in a moment going to the charms bar here on the right Okay, those are still familiar, but under the covers there are some changes, such as the search. So if we um, go back there to the to the charms bar again and um, did a search, now you're going to be able to quickly access a universal search. So, so in the search, you've got options to quickly access something, such as locking your screen and. Actually, the lock screen option is new also. So if we look at this here briefly, you can have your lock screen with uh, different backgrounds. Uh, you can have it as a slideshow and show all your pictures. You can add apps on your lock screen as well. So let's just say that uh, while your uh, machine is locked and you want it to show the weather or something, you can add an app for that and uh, have it running there on your, on your lock screen. So, you know, improvements like that are neat. It's nice that they thought about these little things. Of course, there's more to just that. When you're accessing all these PC and devices options, um, there's a little bit more control, easier to uh, maneuver and find things. I do like that uh, you know it, it, they've really made an overall improvement on how to find features, settings, accessing them. There's less clicks. Uh, everything is all in one spot now. Um, and uh, you know, I, I appreciate that they've actually listened to a lot of the feedback that uh, consumers, IT professionals have you know given them. So I hope to see in the final release of uh, this preview uh, some even more greater improvements. As you can see here, I'm running 8.1 Pro Preview. Okay. Now going back to the charms bar under the settings, personalize adds another feature on top on the start screen. Now you can personalize the background on the start screen and that's pretty neat. Um, you know, you don't have to settle for the um, default one that comes with Windows. You can make this more of your own, which is nice. I like to be able to customize and have things beyond themes and uh, beyond the traditional uh, defaults. So it's good that they've added that. And um, talking about uh, personalization, another thing that you can do when you're at the desktop, if you right click on the taskbar at the bottom and then go to properties, now here at the top where it says navigation, you can actually control um, what happens when you move your mouse, for example, and you point to the upper right corner or the left corner, and uh, most importantly, the start screen. So you can have now your machine boot and go directly to the desktop instead of the start screen. So these are all great options. I'm sure that uh, if 
And when you do use Windows 8.1, you're going to want to check all these off most likely and you're going to want to have those enabled because this really brings the usability and, and, and features back to what people are used to with Windows and that's like going right into the desktop. Now, lastly, I wanted to, to talk touch on um, the split screen, the multitasking capabilities, switching between different apps and having things running at the same time. You can see I have the Internet Explorer 11, which I'll do a separate video about, okay? And I have the desktop there running, and also I have the store running, and you can flip back and forth, watch videos, um, have one thing running on one side, uh, and in some cases, depending on what you're running on either side, you can even interact between them, right? Which is even which is even better. So, you know, they've done a lot of improvements there when it comes to um, the multitasking. So that's very nice as well. Now, last here on the store front, uh, some new facelift on the store. Of course, accessing things. Um, much easier to use I find so that's a good improvement there and again there are a few new apps that come now bundled with 8.1 which do not exist on the default version 8 and you can see them right here I just sorted it by installed date and you can see all the new ones including the the food and drink and the health and fitness and all that stuff there that you can try out and, uh, and if you want I'll, I'll make a separate video to show you these new apps separately so you can get a good idea on that if you're interested in downloading the preview again evaluation only so it will expire eventually you can see here on the Microsoft website it has all the details including the ISO file how to install it all of that is right there I'll add the link below if you're interested. Again, comment below. Are you going to install Windows Preview 8.1? Thank you for watching.